Hi viewers, welcome to the Nesk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create a horizontal brace in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with US environment. Now I'm going to create columns. So click on steel and select this column and pick position here to create column. Pick second position and pick, click on here and click on here to create columns like this. Okay, now I'm going to create beam. So click on escape to exit the command. Now select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point to create beam. Similarly, pick first point and second point to create beam. Click on here and click, click on second point to create beam. And click on here and click on second point to create beam like this. Now click on escape to exit the command. Now I'm going to create bracing at here. So select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point here. Click on escape to exit the command. By default we have I section but we require a T profile. Double click on this B. Now click on here. Let's check brace property. You can see by default we have WT 6 by 15 T profile. Then click on modify to update. Close this window. Click on space, right click on mouse, redrawing. Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. Use the left mouse key to rotate this view like this right click mouse interrupt now i'm going to move this brace four inches below so select this brace right click on mouse move special linear in opposite z direction we need to enter here minus four inch then click on move okay right click mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse to draw you you can see now we have brace location like this now i'm going to give the connection horizontal brace connection at here so go to application components by using the shortcut control f in search bar type number 60 and click on enter you'll get this component you can see horizontal brace component number 60 so select this component and pick the main part as a beam and pick the second brace and pick the third one beam now press the scrolling wheel button to place the brace connection. Now close this window. Right click on mouse interrupt. Click on space. Right click on mouse interrupt. To rotate view, use the shortcut control and scroll button. And you can rotate like this. You can see. By default, we have connection like this. In this connection, you can see now this gusset plate is conflict with this column. So now I'm going to edit this gusset plate. So double click on this connection. You can see now we need to change this spacing so from column edge to edge of this cassette plate we need to enter here let's take 9 inch then click on modify you can see now we have gap between column flange to cassette plate you can see now we have gap there is no collision similarly you can adjust this spacing also at the edge this side rotate upward direction you can also change the spacing also from here for example let's take here six inches click on modify okay by default we have six inches for example let's take seven inches click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the spacing seven inches but six inches more than enough so let's take six inches and click on modify to get the connection like this now coming to this uh, plate thickness and angle profile go to gusset plate now you can see now we have gusset we need to enter here the thickness let's take 1 by 4 inch now click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate thickness should be 1 by 4 inch similarly you can change this angle profile also for example for you can see now we have upper clip angle and lower clip angle upper clip angle indicates this angle this angle now I'm going to change this angle profile so click on here click on here angle let's take angle profile L 3 and off 3 and off by 1 by 4 inch let's take this profile then click on apply ok 
now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this angle profile should be according to from this option similarly we are going to change this left side angle also this angle so click on here click on here angle profile and click on here and select this profile and we need to take this one then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here you can see now this angle profile should be according to this profile now we're going to change this bolts sizes and profile so zoom it here for this bolts we need to click on here brace bolt one click on here let's take half inch bolt and click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt size should be half inch now now we're going to adjust the spacing so let's take 1.5 inch and two bolts and spacing 3 inch and let's take edge distance 1.5 in lengthwise direction click on modify to see the result you can see now this edge distance should be one and a half inch and the these two indicates the number of bolts in the lengthwise two and the spacing between these two bolts should be three inch and the edge distance one and a half inch but this will be take in minimum side this side okay now coming to this width wise this side let's take number of bolts two and the spacing three inch then click on modify you can see now the spacing between th these two bolts should be three inch in width wise now coming to these bolts now i'm going to change this bolt size and the spacing so click on this gusset connection one and click on here let's take off inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt size should be off inch now coming to the spacing in lengthwise we need to take 1.5 inch edge distance and number of bolts two in lengthwise and the spacing between these two bolts let's take three inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now spacings according to these options now from you can see now we have this spacing here from top of this plate to bolt spacing let's take here two inch click on modify to see the result you can see now this spacing should be two inch from top of angle to first bolt distance now coming to this second clip angle to change this bolt size and spacing you need to click on this gusset connection 2 and let's take the bolt size half inch click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt size should be half inch now coming to the spacing let's take two bolts and the spacing 3 inch in lengthwise and edge distance 1.5 inch click on modify to see the result you can see now the edge distance should be one and a half inch and the spacing between these two, these two bolts should be three inch now coming to width wise let's take from top of angle to first bolt distance let's take here two inch then click on modify you can see now top of angle to first bolt distance should be two inch if you want to increase the number of bolts in width wise let's take two click on modify you can see you will get two bolts like this okay currently we require only one bolt so you can place it one or you can remove by default it will take one bolt like this in width wise now click on modify apply ok that's it about how to create a horizontal bracing in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you